Hey, what's going on everybody? Jason here, bringing you a quick update on my tanks. I'm actually in the garage. I'll go in the living room here. I uh, had a little problem with my daughter's tank, and I'll, uh, I'll get to that, but um, let's, uh, let's go look at Ragnar real quick. So here is Ragnar. Here's what's going on with him. He is just getting bigger and bigger and bigger. You know, it's kind of hard to say how big he is, how he's definitely the size, if not bigger, of my hand, but he's definitely wide and pudgy and bulky. So he's, man, I don't even know, six inches long plus this freaking knob on his head, which is literally, I think, almost the size of a doorknob. There he is, kicking, making a fuss. Uh, he had, I think he was getting a little bit of uh, fungus on his fins on this side right there. Might be kind of hard to see. I put some salt in the tank and the, some leftover medication I had. It, it seems to be going away. But, uh, same tank. I had a guy at my aquarium enthusiast group ask me a after I've had this this long, uh, get what, what do I think about it? What's an update on it? Uh, well, honestly, there's not too much to update on a tank other than, hey, it hasn't leaked. <laughs> you know, it hasn't leaked, it hasn't cracked, it hasn't exploded. Uh, I love the tank. I love the black silicone, very thick glass. Uh, the filters are doing fine. They are a little noisy from time to time. Uh, I'm definitely going to upgrade these at some point, but I'm still going to, I'll still probably use uh, HLB filters. I want to get one of those new BioWheel 450s. Uh, we'll see what happens when that line of filter comes out, but the only thing I have in here is just sponges and filter floss. That's it. My water parameters are fine. Yeah, so that's Ragnar in a 55 gallon right there. You, that'll, if that can give you an idea of his size. Um, he's not humongous, but he's definitely getting there. So my daughter's little five gallon, as you can see, I switched over the substrate and there's some different decorations. I don't know if you guys remember. This tank got infested with snails. Lots of snails, hundreds of snails. Uh, I pretty much had to throw everything out. Uh, I threw, well, I didn't throw out the, she had those blue and white rocks, I think. And so I basically just rinsed them and let them dry in the garage on a towel. So all the, whatever snails are on there died. I completely threw out the filter, bought a whole new filter, I wasn't even going to mess with it, um, just cleaned the hell out of that tank, and then um, this driftwood I had from a bigger piece uh, in the garage, it was already dry, I busted it off and let it soak in water overnight, and bought an Anubias plant, and the fish seemed to be doing really good this time, and I added some of my sand that I still had back in the Boise house when I had Magneto. This was the sand that was in the 75 gallon and I still have the whole bucket. Uh, ever since I switched this over, no more fish are dying. I don't know how, but I think the snails were somehow killing the fish and, and one of the shrimp died. Completely disappeared in the tank, was just gone. It wasn't in the filter, it wasn't anywhere. Um, I, I don't know. But anyway, since I, I got rid of the snails, had to completely switch everything over. Fish are doing good now. And there's two last shrimp right over there. They're doing good. Um, Andler guppies. There's a pretty male right there. And there is one more, that one right there. He's a little guy, and that's going to be a male. Colors are already starting to show. Kind of hard to see. But there's plenty of little babies in here that are still going to grow. And, uh... One last look at old Ragnar, freaking awesome fish. My wife is really excited about him. She's, she wants me to grow out a, a fish to be a monster. I've never really done that. For some reason, never seemed to have the time or the tank size. We always seemed to move or I didn't have room, but uh, he's, he's getting big. He's getting pretty big. I'm going to keep growing him out. All right, guys, thank you for watching. That's what's going on. Not a whole lot. Uh, Ragnar is doing good, and I had to switch my daughter's tank over because it was in infested with snails. Uh, if this is your first time watching my videos, check out Aquarium Enthusiasts, my group on Facebook. Click to get in there. Really good group. Good people in there. No drama. And, uh, hey, thanks for watching, guys. Click to subscribe. I will see you later.